Right, I'm here with legendary mountain biker Lee Donovan in downhill cross country. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Dual slalom and all that goodness. <laughs> You're here to help us show us a few things in mountain biking. Yeah, I'm gonna do five skills. One, two, three, four, five. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Awesome. All right, so first skill we're gonna learn today is the first skill I teach my riders is the track stand. It allows the rider to find their center position much more easily. So Blake, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to hold uh, your brakes on front and rear, and I want you to get your pedals level, so parallel to the ground. Once you've found your left pedal stay, staying seated, then stand as soon as you get the foot on the pedal, and then you can kind of let off your brakes a little. But I want to see you stand. Try to be like a little bit straighter, like arms and legs a little more straight. Yeah. We'll try it again. Find that pedal. And then stand. And you can let off your brakes when you stand and kind of roll forward to kind of help you find that position. Yeah. You're a little bit more bent. I think for myself, it's a lot easier to be straighter. Okay. So I find more success in like a straighter arm and a straighter leg. Yeah. And then, you know, you're kind of moving around, like, you know, one's bending more than the other. And yeah. I'm kind of just playing around. And then this will allow you to kind of get more comfortable with the balance on the bike okay. and riding with level pedals. I try to teach the riders that I'm working with to try and have equal weight in yep. both feet. Okay. Of course, that's not always going to be the case. You are going to have a little more weight in your front foot yep. sometimes, especially that's the lead foot. Okay. Um, but trying to kind of bring that back as well. Bring it back onto the back foot. Exactly. Foot. Definitely. Equal. So should we try it again? Yeah, let's try that again. All right. Oh. Oh. It's a little hard in the sawdust, yeah. isn't it? Digging that front oh. wheel. Oh. Oh, you're doing good though. You're not even moving. <laughs> I'm up. Oh! My brake. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, track stand, number one skill. All right, so skill two is bike and body separation, bike. moving forward and back on the bike. Okay. What do you mean by bike and body separation? Is that uh, like crashing? <laughs> Are we crashing? I yeah. like to think it's, it's preparing a rider story. how yeah. to move forward and back on the bike. Okay. Because I feel like riders tend to stay more in a statue position when they're riding. I've seen that. And, they st and there's not a lot of movement. Right. And I believe with mountain biking, it requires so much moving, movement consistently yeah. that you can either be a passenger yeah. or a pilot. And this will allow you to pilot your way through riding. All right, so the first thing is I just you'll stand up in a neutral riding position and then you're going to move forward and back. And it's really small movement. It's not big, okay. just to create momentum. There oh. we go. All right, so you're gonna start neutral and then you're gonna rock forward and back, forward and back. I can see where that comes from on the trail. Forward, back. Yeah, so you know how when you're moving so far forward that you have all that weight in your hands? Yeah. Try to just put the weight in the feet when you move forward. Oh, so, yeah. We really want to keep the hands light. Yeah. Because if we keep our hands light and we keep the center of gravity low in our feet, it allows us to have more control. So, just forward and back. See how the movement's kind of small? Yeah. And my hands are really light. No weight on the hands. Yeah, and back, yep. And straighten those legs all the way back. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Perfect. And when you're moving forward, try to keep the weight um, more into the a flatter foot versus a, 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 oh. a weighted toe. Okay. Right? So a flatter foot, kind of like downward dog with yeah. yoga, right? Yeah. Where you're pushing your heels yeah. down. Yeah. Keeping a flat foot helps keep better balance and okay. center of gravity yeah. as well. Yeah. No, I notice a lot of riders because people ride typically like with uh, clips. Yeah. Um, they tend to pedal with their toe and then they start to ride with their toe. Yeah. And so they're toe in all the time. Yeah. The problem with that is, is now you put so much weight into the front of the bike yeah. that you don't have any equal weight in the back ah, of the there bike. You go. Our goal should always be to like lower the center of gravity as low as we can get. Yeah. And so if we can keep all that weight in the feet yeah. all the time and use our bike from the feet and allow this to stay a little lighter, yeah. it's just we're going to be safer and probably be better riders. Better rider. Yeah. Right. All right. That looked good. Should yeah. we do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. All right, let's do one more. Let's do a train. All right. 
Right. All right. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. And right. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. Nice. All right. So number three. Number three. Manual lift. Oh, I love a manual. Everyone loves to learn. Everyone a manual. loves a manual. We're gonna just do a manual lift. So it's like an introduction to okay. a manual. It's a good stepping stone to getting into the manual. Definitely. We're gonna just it's kind of like the basics. Yeah. And I think it's really important for riders that um, come across ob obstacles in the on the course that seem a little intimidating and sometimes they might walk over or yeah. like go around. Yeah. The manual lift allows you to effortlessly get over those obstacles, unweighting the front end just enough to have it light enough to just roll right over obstacles. Right. All right, so same as we just did with the bike and body separation. Yeah. Forward um, and back. Forward and back, um, but the back's gonna be like twice as fast as the forward. Okay. So we're gonna kind of load a little bit forward and then we're gonna explode back. Explode. And let me give you the example. Okay. All right, always uh, cover rear rear brake for yep. safety. I don't care about front as much, but okay. I always do both. But rear brake definitely for, for safety for yeah. the manual, <laughs> yeah. okay? All right, so coming in, forward back. And getting the extension, right? Yeah. Making sure you're getting the legs and, but not dropping the chest. Okay. Still keeping the t chest strong. Yeah. I see you going straight to straight legs, like yeah, straight, straight legs. Yeah, straight legs, because I find for myself as a woman, maybe it's different for a man, I can't really like pull with the arms. Yeah. But it's easy if I use my body for the whole yeah, lift. Yeah, whole weight. Yes. Right. Let's so let's that. watch it go. If you're pulling, you're weighting the hands, yeah. and you're going into the toes all at the yeah. same time. So let's go back up, keep the feet a little more level. Yeah. You know, doing that hinge at the ankle versus weighting the toe. And lighter on the hands, utilizing the body straight back. Yes, absolutely perfect. And you got that rear brake covered for safety, yes. so you're not gonna loop out. That was beautiful. All right, so let's do one, one more together. You're a great teacher, Lee. <laughs> I try, I try. I enjoy it. Yeah. All right, here we go. And bunny hop. <laughs> I held a little bit of a manual there. Yeah. I can't really hold manuals, yeah, but can't. I can do a manual lift. No, I cannot. Ooh. I need to learn how to manual. <laughs> yeah, I am Are ready. we ready for skill four? Yes. Cornering, outside pedal down though. Ooh. So we're gonna learn how to lean the bike, not the body, into a corner. You ready for it? I'm ready for it. All right, so first thing is I start with is I'll have my riders just put their uh, their foot straight down yeah. so they understand what I'm talking about, yeah. weighting the foot. Yeah. So since this is a left-handed corner, we're gonna be weighting the right side. So I just have my riders kind of stand over the bike and lean the bike to the left. So getting ready for the left corner and just kind of standing on the, the yes, yeah, straightening that leg, allowing all that weight to go into the pedal. and. Uh, and straightening that inside arm. So we're leaning the bike, just not the body. Okay. You kind of see that? Yeah. Perfect. Like that. Perfect, you're kind of like a dancer. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, yeah, do, yeah. Do, do. And, when we're, and when we're moving, we don't want to move too far off on the side that we're waiting because okay. we're going to allow the weight of the foot to, to balance the bike. Balance the bike, yep. okay. All right, we ready? Ready. All right, let's go do it. Did you know I struggle going fast in corners? All right, well, let's start slow right. and then we'll go fast. Outside, leaning the bike. Steve Pete style. That is Steve Pete style. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty good. Yeah. I think that you could weight that outside pedal a little I felt bit like more. I was more like. Yeah, you were like tight. weighted front. Yeah. And kind of like how you would ride almost level pedal. Yeah, yeah. This way, we want just the weight to be in that outside pedal. Okay. Just like just literally stand on that outside pedal and lean the bike to the left. Kind of how when we were standing on yeah. the ground, just lean it. Okay. Get that inside arm straight, yeah. not both arms bent, just one arm bent, and all the weight in that right foot. Let's try it again. Weight that outside foot, lean the bike. Yeah, 
Like, oh, how that much felt easier way was that? E way easier. And it was perfect. And yeah. I think the more you practice that, yeah. Um, it it just allows you to get more comfortable with the speed yeah. that you're going. And um, I felt comfortable and fully weighted. Yes. Central fully balanced. The, like yeah. no, didn't feel like it was too much weight on the front, so it felt like it was going to wash out or the rear or you know, yeah. it's not squirrely. Right. And it's it's a simple exercise you can do, and I, I a lot of times will just do it in a parking lot and create a little figure eight with my riders, yeah. and and then just like kind of play around and have like little competition yeah. and try and build the speed as we go. And nice. I think learning if you can weight the outside pedal, and you learn it early. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone knows how to ride level. It seems like yeah. it seems like everyone doesn't know how to weight the outside pedal, and that might be a '90s kind of thing, yeah. but it seems to still work for me. Yeah. So I'm gonna no. go with it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Going to number five. Skill five. Yeah. So I don't typically get to this skill very often in my clinics. It's a much more advanced skill. Um, it's the bunny hop. Ooh. Um, personally, my favorite because yeah. I think it makes you look pretty cool when you can do it correctly. <laughs> yes. Um, but it requires a lot more movement, a lot more power from the body, um, and the technique has to kind of be spot on to do it correctly. Yeah. A lot of people jump, um, use the suspension with their bike yeah. and bend their legs. And um, use their clips, I've seen. And they use their clips. Um, best way to learn is with flat pedals because you will require you to learn how to use the feet and the body in the, in the motion that it requires you to do the skill properly. Yeah. The first thing is it's going to be similar to the bike and body separation. We'll create momentum because we're going to be working on a flat spot here. Um, let's get a couple pedals in because momentum kind of does help with the bunny hop movement a little bit. Uh, but you don't need tons of momentum. Um, so I'm going to give you an example first. It's easier to show it. Yeah. Um, people teach this all different ways. For me, my experience has been that I teach people how to kind of move on the bike first, yeah. um, and then I teach them how to jump. So the beginning movement will be like where I load down, and then I pull back kind of like into that manual lift, yeah. and then I go to stand back up. You'll be standing, and you'll load, and you'll come back and circle around, kind of like a half circle back. Okay. Okay? So sitting, kind of coming back and circling. Let's first see you do that. See you do that. Drop it. Seating down. There you go. Get the weight off of the toes. Make sure you have those, those feet. Cut. Yeah, there you go. Much better, much better. I was pointing better. my feet there. Now I'm gonna just have you watch me attempt at it. Okay. Um, Can I watch don't claim the to side? be, get the highest, but I definitely have. Oh. So, I see this a lot with the jump. People do this, they pull it up. Uh, you see that? Yeah. And so getting the body to be straighter in the air, kind of the hips almost meeting the handlebar. Oh. You can get it higher. I see where, the, where you did it the wrong, you're like your toes are really, like you're yeah, pulling Yeah, you can kind much. of see I scoop, yeah. right? And keeping the feet connected the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Not pulling with the feet, yeah. not pulling with the knees, yeah. pushing with the feet. Yeah, so, pulling with the knees, pushing with the feet. Yes, pushing with the feet, yeah. not pulling with the knees. I'm not pulling, okay, right. cool. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I find the more you play around with, yeah. the easier it is. There's a lot of people that do front wheel, yeah. rear wheel lifts. I always find it so difficult to teach it, so yeah. I just say go play a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Nice. So now try it again. Try to get the legs more extended. Okay. Obviously we know you know how to ride a bike very well, yeah. but now try and even straighten those legs even a little bit more as you're in the air. Yeah. And then when the front wheel touches, now reabsorbing so you come back to gravity by absorbing the ground. Okay. Even straighter legs. Try and keep those legs straight. There we go. Wow. All right, I'm gonna give you one it's, more example it's from hard. me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was good. And this is just good for beginners to try. They can try this in their, you know, in their in their front yard, or it's something 
fun to learn. Yeah. And if you video yourself, yeah, well, like we can, you know, luckily we have videos yeah. today, <laughs> so we can go back and critique it later. And I'm sure all of you haters out there will critique me, but that's okay. <laughs> We're getting in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on, go ahead and just let's let's watch you shred it. Nice. Oh yeah, and that land. You couldn't even hear you land. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> and that's the other thing. The bunny hop has so many aspects of skill involved with yeah. it that it's not just from the lift or from being in the air. It's even from the landing, it's right? Executing there's, the landing. There's so, and I believe that if you can't bunny hop, you should never try and jump because you can't execute a landing. Yeah. And jumping is that's to true. me more about a landing yeah. than it is about the takeoff. Yeah. And you should always learn to mountain bike with a goal of being a pilot and not a passenger. You're always gonna be safer, probably ride your bike longer, and visit the doctor a lot less, hopefully. <laughs> That's wise words, <laughs> coming from Legend Lee. Thank you so much for showing all these Thank bits. you yeah, so, so much for so including good. me. Yeah. Nah, I really, I, good. I super appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. Thank you very much. Hopefully you guys understand and girls understand these five basic skills are gonna help you out there on the trail and be a little bit safe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and for me, my business is all about safety first. So yeah. the longer you're on your bike, the more you're gonna be invested exactly. in our industry yeah. and you're gonna spread the love. Yeah. So keep spreading the love out there because bikes are cool. Yeah, give us a thumbs up, like. If you wanna see another skill video, click over here. See ya.